What's up, YouTube? I'm Mr. No Name, or Max, as people know in the real world, and today I'm bringing you guys some CVC gameplay on Ghost. It's me and some randoms versus a team. I do pretty well. This was one of the games that I was playing a couple days ago, so it was just, you know, me getting back into things. So I think I did pretty well. So enjoy that in the background. But today's video is going to be focusing on the Black Ops 3 specialists, their weapons, their abilities what to kind of expect from them, you know, what game modes are they going to be played in, and all of this is from a competitive perspective, and if there's anything that's not really competitively viable, then I will let you guys know about that. So, you know, it is still kind of speculation, but I mean, a lot of gameplay has already been done on the PS4 from players, and also the pros have played it a lot, so people are starting to figure out what's going to kind of work, but anyway, getting right into it, so the first specialist is Rune. And his weapon is gravity spikes. Basically, he can slam the ground and it kills some people in the small area. So, you know, that, that could be something to be used mostly probably in hard point. Um, you know, it's an option, of course. But I feel like his ability is probably going to be the more common one, which is overdrive. Which just gives him a speed boost, basically, for a little bit. So, of course, this class is going to be mostly done by OBJ players. In fact, probably completely OBJ I would expect it a lot in uplink and in hardpoint. Um, well, maybe not quite as much in hardpoint unless they're using the weapon, but um, especially in uplink and possibly in S and D if they want to get a rush down. But there's probably some better classes you could use for S and D, some things that are a little more important. So there's that. Second one is Outrider. He has the weapon, which is the Sparrow. That's the bow. Um, you know, that's going to be a good thing for Slayers. It's it's definitely an option to be using. Ability is going to be the Vision Pulse, which kind of, it's the wall hack, basically. And this one is going to be done mostly by Slayers, um, maybe by OBJs if they want to use the Vision Pulse, but I still think probably it'll be, be run more by Slayers. Um, this is going to be viable in every game mode, but it's going to be especially important in S and D. Next person is Profit, and this one you guys probably know if you keep up with Black Ops 3 information at all. The weapon is the Tempest. That's like the the gun that you charge up and it shoots the electricity and it can jump to different enemies. So that will be viable in every game mode and it will be run by Slayers most likely. Ability is Glitch, which flashes you back to a previous position. Um, th that ability is probably going to be used mostly in S and D. I mean, it could be used in some of the respawns to kind of check some things out, but I think it'll be especially important within the S and D game mode. Next person is battery and the weapon there is going to be the war machine. So yay, war machine is returning. You guys know what that is. Uh, that'll be something probably used on hard point. I would think if people are going to use that, we'll have to see how good it really is. Um, and this class is probably going to be run by Slayers, possibly OBJs as well. It's a little bit of a hybrid one, especially when you get to the ability, which is the kinetic, kinetic armor, which is a suit of armor that provides additional protection from bullets. So that could be good for trying to capture objectives, but it could also be good for the Slayers, you know, trying to um, hold down positions or the anchor as well, since, you know, we got hard point again. So it's kind of a hybrid class, but I think it's going to be focused more around Slayers again. Next person is, I don't know if I'm going to say this right, but Seraph, and the weapon is the Annihilator, which is that high caliber pistol, of course, this will be a huge thing for Slayers to be using, and it's going to be absolutely crazy. Also, the ability is Combat Focus, which, when activated, the score creates a multiplier that helps achieve score streaks, assuming score streaks stay within the competitive scene. Again, the ability and the weapon for here will be run by Slayers, and it will help quite a bit um, in games. So this is going to be a pretty strong one you'll see a lot of. Next class is the Nomad class, which the weapon is the Hive, and that's like the trap pods that release the deadly swarm of nanodrones. It's basically putting mines everywhere. Um, I don't expect to see that one a whole lot, really. I mean, it's, it's just there's better ones out there, but it could be used. And then the ability is Rejack, that's where you recover from the dead, you know, there's a smoke that pops up and you're alive again. So, Rejack could honestly be used by any player in any role. Um, this is one that you will see a lot of, and you will see it in every game mode, but I would especially expect to see it in 
probably S and D and then uplink and then hard point as far as what I would deem the most important order there. Next person is the Reaper, who and he has the weapon which is the scythe. It's the minigun that transforms from the arm, so you know that's gonna be a high pick from Slayers. OBJs as well, if they want to kind of clear it out, that could be a good one. And then Psychosis is the ability, which has the three decoy drones, or clones, I'm sorry, that run forward to distract enemies. Again, this one is probably going to be used a lot in S and D. Um, I don't expect that to be used much in Hardpoint, possibly Uplink to distract people, but I think this is going to be a heavily focused on S and D. And then the next person, which is the last one that we know about, but there will be one more later on. But this last person is the Spectre, and the weapon is the Ripper, which is, it's basically a twin blades. So that is not really going to be all that viable in competitive, I don't think. I mean, you don't want to have to rely on that close quarters combat, so it's kind of iffy there. And then the ability is the active camo, which is basically turning you invisible for a few seconds. So that could maybe be viable in S and D or something, but I, I still think that the other specialists will be used a lot more. So those are the specialists. Um, I will definitely be going over the last specialist when that person is announced, and we'll see how it goes. So as you guys can see, we're coming to the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, then please like, comment, and or subscribe. If you didn't, then let me know what I can do better next time. Constructive criticism goes a long way, guys. Until next time, everybody, peace out.